All right, next door we have is a rumor, but this is one that I do believe is probably going to happen, and I'll give you my reasons as to why I think that. But all right, the rumor is that Walt Disney World is going to debut Universal Express style skip the line offering on top of the existing Lightning Link offerings that they currently have. Okay, so yeah, this is a article that was put out by Blog Mickey. Um, again, this is very rumory, but there's a lot of stuff to back it up to where it it might happen. The reason I think it'll happen is because while it is a rumor on the Disneyland app, and this is called Lightning Lane, Lightning Lane Premier Pass is what mm-hmm. this is to be called. This what did pop up live on the Disneyland app for a very short period of time. It didn't have functionality, but it has a logo and it had uh, things built into it. So it was already built into the app, which lends, you know, leads me to think that this is something that they can just turn on because you wouldn't put this into the app if you didn't plan on using it. Mm, because it, you know, okay. it you have to program that in there. So I definitely think this has legs. Now we didn't know at the time it was just Disneyland, but now about a week later we were hearing about Disney World. Right. So this is something that I do think will probably uh, be something that they do. And so basically, what it is at the Lightning Lane Premier Pass is like Jared said, it's similar to the Express Pass you have over at Universal, where guests who purchase the Premier Pass would be able to skip the line at eligible Lightning Lane attractions once per day without needing a return window. So as you know, the system that we have now, you will, you can do your pre, pre-book your three um, uh, lightning lanes, seven to three days or day of whatever beforehand, and you have those, and then you get to return at a certain time, usually an hour long. This one, you can just go whenever. Right. No time reser- reservation needed, if you will. You don't have to be on your phone is the main nope. thing about it. Nope. Um, yeah, so obviously we talk about this is how Universal has done this for years with their Express. So they You don't have to have your phone. You just walk up. They scan your, your card or whatever, and you just mm-hmm. go into the line. I personally think, and I've said this for a while, that this type of system, if you're going to have a pay, you know, to essentially cut the line system, I think this type of system works the best because... Now, and they haven't said anything about pricing, but this this obviously Premier Pass would be more expensive. The Universal Express Pass is anywhere from like $130 to like upwards of $200 plus per day. It is very expensive, but or you can get it if you stay in like the Premier Hotels and Universal and things like that. But because it's rare, not many people have it, it A, if you do get it, it works really well. That's first off. So if you're paying for that access, you're able to ride the rides much quicker. But the other thing that it does is it doesn't impact the, the standby lines as much because there's not as many people going through the, you know, in this case, the lightning lanes. Uh, so I think on its face, I think it's a better system. Now, in terms of this system on top of the existing systems already, I have a lot of questions about that, about how that's going to work. How many are they going to sell? Like, are they going to change the amount of multi passes that they sell? How does it affect the standby line? Uh, you know, I, there's a lot more questions with this system. It, I think it would make a lot more sense if this was the only way they were doing it, but offering this on top of it, it's again, it's another layer of like, okay, well, you got to be really careful about how much of everything you're selling here. And it, and if people will buy it, maybe people won't, I don't know, but I think a lot of people will probably would, uh, if it didn't require you to be on your phone and you just, it's a much easier system to, to use. Yeah. And there's really not much more information besides that. Um, that they wouldn't be unlimited. There wouldn't be an unlimited option, according to the rumor, um, which, you know, it's fine. That makes sense. So I think the once per day is pretty much the highest level of, of uh, skip the line pass that you're going to have at Disney because the next one's going to be VIP tours. And even right. VIP tours, you know, they even have some limitations on rides of how many times you can do it. Yeah, you can't so, just do it continuously over and over again. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't think they would have a limited option for a skip the line pass. Um, so, yeah, what you were saying about the multi-pass, the single pass, and now this premier pass, how that's going to work with availability. Um, they're going to have to really limit how many they sell of the premier pass because it's going to be <laughs> such a headache for these poor cast members that are dealing with, like, guest relation questions about their past and why this is working. Well, I thought I bought this and it's going to be a lot of questions as to how this all rolls out when it, you know, when it does. Um, but I, I think it's a good thing. I think there's a lot of people that would definitely buy this now price wise, price wise, you had mentioned 
how, how much did you mention? The Universal I mentioned ones? Universal's pricing. I could what see did this you be, say it was? Well, Universal's anywhere from like 130 160 a day upwards over $200 per day. It depends on how yeah. busy it is. Uh, we're looking at 350 at the high end for a Universal Express Pass. Mm-hmm. No doubt. For sure. So I am uh, guessing that this is going to be at, minim- at minimum, I'll say at minimum, about 200 a person per day. I uh, would not be shocked. If oh, it's I agree. 200. I mean, there's uh, that. Uh, I mean, yeah, I that it, or if not more. I mean, it um, could be more. I'm just saying, like, I'm trying to think of like a, a decent price to just even roll it out, and I think 200 is is, is it ish. Well, maybe 150. Again, there's a lot of questions in terms of does this do does this work at all the parks or do you buy this per park? Like, right. you know, how do they how do they go about doing this? Right now, I think they're going to do it for sure because. I think they're looking for yet another revenue stream out of the parks because if you look right. at Disney, the parks make up the majority of the revenue now for the entire company. So this is yet another revenue stream they can try and tap. So you do have now again, if people want to pay it, like I, it doesn't. I'm not against Absolutely. it if people are able to get it. My biggest though question is, I just think this system, like Disney, almost did this system before they did Genie Plus. They almost did it exactly like a Universal in this way of like making it rare. It's expensive. Yeah, you know, like that. I just think when you're talking about pay, <clears throat> excuse me, paid cut the line systems that this works the best. So I just don't know though the thing that I just don't yeah is like how does this work with the other stuff and that's yeah. where it comes into of how much does this impact standby and all these other situations. So it's a very like you got to thread that needle here with this and knowing yeah. how Disney kind of does stuff at least when they first do it. I I imagine if. You know, and the rumor is that this will be this year that they do this. They're probably looking at the fourth quarter for Christmas and holidays. That yeah. um, this might be a little hectic when it's first rolled out, perhaps. Or maybe, it, I guess, depends on how many people buy it. I mean, they may roll it out and not as many people get it. I mean, it is possible. Well, since, you know, we have been talking about this and Disney possibly doing something like this in the past, like we've been for years, we've been just kind of like conjecture, like what, like, would they ever do it? Would they ever bring it? So it looks like it will probably happen so given that do you think they'll ever offer deluxe guests like see, included with it because i don't think they will see and that's the thing what i i made a video talking about this on the youtube channel i think that this is the perfect opportunity they should give the you know it should be like universal or if you're staying at like the polynesian you should get it like i, I think don't they should think they i don't will. think they will but i think they should add some perks to staying at you know deluxe resorts for that matter or you get it at a discount or something like that. I think that's something they could do. Will they do it? Probably not. Uh, I. Yeah. It'll be interesting if they do do it. How well does this go over? It could be something where, I mean, Disney has introduced things in the past that haven't gone over very well, and it just sort of goes away. Uh, I don't know if you remember the, the tents that they had in Tomorrowland. Do you remember that? The cabanas that you could rent out? Oh, my gosh. I do remember those. Those were interesting and it was like <laughs> exorbitant pricing for these things that lasted i don't even know if it lasted a month no it, it didn't was last really short. very long and then they got they acted like they never have done it and they'd never spoken of it again so yeah. they you know this is something they could roll out and it doesn't go over well or people complain or it just makes everything i mean it, it could impact the lines and everything so badly they just go never mind we're not doing this because again okay. if you're going to do this on top of everything else i have a lot of questions about that what they could do, just just spitball in here, like we have the premiere pass over at Universal, which allows us to have Express from 4 p.m. to close at both parks. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not unlimited. It's just one attraction per day. So what if they did something like that? Like if you're a deluxe guest, if you enter the park after like five or six then they, you then it's you get it. They could. I mean, there's there's like, a lot. Why of- not that? Because the the parks at night. Like the usually the 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 wait times aren't as bad. So yeah. if they're really trying to get people to like come to the parks and spend money and be there longer, then maybe that's a way to create yeah. more revenue. It's possible. I mean, I'd also theorize if they're if they do this system, you know, if they really want to win people back over, you could maybe instead of having multi pass, you bring back fast pass, make it included in your trip, but you also sell this deluxe version, this this premier pass version. So it's like. You got your your fast pass included. Maybe it just is those three three rides you get to plan ahead of time. Maybe you don't get to add them the day of, and then mm. you always have the option of having this premiere pass out there. I feel like on some level, it would make it would suffice some people make them happy, 
and having this premiere yeah. option out there. But I, I don't know. It it just seems like a lot of uh, as they what do they call it? A lot of things to juggle in the air about something like this. But it does seem yeah. like it's going to happen. It's I think it's got a lot of legs. Yeah. So yeah. We'll, I mean, like I again, since we're since we go too often, I don't know if we would ever buy it for ourselves. I mean, I've never. Per, we've never purchased it from Universal. No, out. no. So I don't think we'd ever buy this for ourselves, but I think it's a great option for those that are willing to pay the money for the ease of the vacation to not have to look at your phone every five seconds and <laughs> be modifying lightning lanes constantly and have to zigzag back and forth of the park. Like to actually just go into the to the line queues, just walk right on or you know, have a minimal wait for whatever ride you want, whenever you want. Sounds pretty great. <laughs> Someone's like, you have to pay. Sounds pretty great. They want you to pay for the privilege to not be tethered to your phone, which sounds yeah. kind of. It's like a wild. VIP tour, but no tour and no, uh, you know, guide. Right. Just one one person. That's basically what it is. Yeah. So. So well, wait and see about details. I mean, again, we're already in September. If this is in the in the article, it says they're looking at doing it this year. So you're probably mm -hmm. looking at. I'm sure if they're going to do this, they would probably release it. September, October. I don't imagine them introducing them in this in like November, right before Christmas. I know, uh, who knows with them? I know. So, but yeah, that's a rumor out there. Strong <laughs> possibility, but we'll have to wait and see. I need more info on that or if it ends up happening and things like that. So